Can I pour a concrete slab in sections? If you're planning to lay a concrete slab and wondering if you can do it in sections, you're on the right track. This method is not only possible, but also highly recommended for several reasons. First, let's talk about control and manageability. When you pour a concrete slab in sections, you have much better control over the curing process. This is especially important because it reduces the risk of cracking and ensures each section cures uniformly. Imagine trying to manage a large slab all at once. It can be overwhelming and prone to mistakes. By breaking it down into smaller sections, you can handle each part more efficiently. Another significant advantage is the ability to introduce expansion joints between the sections. These joints act as planned cracks that allow the concrete to expand and contract with temperature changes, which helps prevent unsightly and potentially damaging cracks. This is crucial because concrete naturally shrinks and expands, and without these joints, it could lead to significant cracking over time. Pouring in sections also makes it easier to handle large or complex areas. For instance, if you're working on a large driveway or a patio with limited access, pouring in sections allows for easier transportation and maneuverability of the concrete. This approach also enables you to address specific areas without disturbing the entire slab, which is particularly useful for future repairs or modifications. When it comes to the actual process, it's important to plan and prepare each section carefully. Start by ensuring the ground is level and ready for the pour. Dig the area to the required depth, usually about three inches for the gravel base and four inches for the concrete. Then, place your forms and add any necessary reinforcement like rebar or wire mesh. Once you're ready, pour the concrete in small sections, spreading it evenly and slightly higher than the form. Use a screed to smooth out the surface and create a flat level finish. One of the key steps is to create control joints as you go. For example, if your pour is longer than 10 feet, you'll need to cut in a control joint to prevent cracking. Mark the spot on the form, stretch a mason's line over the surface, and follow the line with a groover to create a straight and centered joint. While pouring in sections has many benefits, it does come with some challenges. You'll need to ensure that the seams where the sections meet are executed properly to avoid visible lines. It also requires additional formwork and reinforcement for each section, which can add to the overall cost and time of the project. In summary, pouring a concrete slab in sections is a smart and practical approach. It offers better control over the curing process, reduces the risk of cracking, and makes it easier to handle large or complex areas. With careful planning and execution, you can achieve a durable and long-lasting concrete slab that meets your needs. So if you're considering this method, rest assured, it's a good choice for your project.